Hello and welcome back to Pandemic Playground with Dave. So today we are going to test around with some wheels and some rovers. Alright, so what do we mean by testing around with wheels and rovers? Basically, in one of Don's experiments with his rotor wheels, there's a bit of a lack of friction when you build a wheel using the just regular wheel based pieces here. So there was a comment and a suggestion that we can probably get this friction from the suspension wheels, meaning taking off this, the suspension itself and leave the wheel and find a way to place it onto a rover. So how can we do that? Well, let's take a quick look. So basically, if we were to build a, a quick little rover, for an example, if we want to put in some wheels, let's use the you know regular wheels here and put in the suspensions. So we have one here, one here, and then we can add the other side here and here, which it looks like I put everything upside down, but that's fine. And the only way to attach it to a rotor, obviously, would be to put in uh, some kind of headpiece to it, a rotor part or rotor head, whatever you want to call it. But it looks like you can't. We could try different things, hinge parts, nothing really works. The regular blocks doesn't work, so you won't be able to attach this to a rotor in any way. So if you got rid of the suspension itself, the wheel does have a little piece and part over there, but you can't put anything there as well, and you can't attach that into a rotor as well too. So that is the problem that we're gonna have here. So we can try to add something in here. It looks like it just freaks out anyways. As um, <laughs> they're just randomly rolling away. And I could push them a little bit, which is interesting. But I can't place anything on this wheel. So that's the problem that we're having here. So there's no way to get this a uh, proper wheel with friction and everything like that. We are kind of stuck using these type of wheels, which doesn't necessarily have any frictions. Because these, you easy plop on anything here. I thought of doing something different. So I remember using the bike wheels and then see my two bar, I have the wheels set up here. So the bike wheels, I remember you can put hubcaps on. And and also I recall previously we were able to put like hubcaps on these too, on these type of wheels, but it doesn't work for offset wheels and it doesn't work for the regular wheels too. I'm not sure why, maybe it's changed. Maybe I was just dreaming, I don't know. I can't remember. Because I thought I remember I put some hub check, hub caps onto these things before, once before as well. But it could have been just the regular wheels that's not off the suspensions. So those wheels don't work. So the attempt here would be to use the bike wheels mod. Uh, I'll put the link down in the description below, which I used to build the motorcycle with. And these wheels, you can easily add in a hub cap from the, the mod um, pieces as well. But here, you can also add blocks. So, of course, if we can add blocks, we can add the rotor part into this. So we can attach it to a rotor. So we have a decent rotor wheel with an actual wheel. Because these wheels do have strength, friction, power, everything that's on here. But I think it's usually on this here. But, I mean, it will act like a wheel. So hopefully that will work out. And the front type of wheel works well. The back type of wheels also work well. So you could always put hubcaps onto these guys here. So basically get rid of the suspension and we can put a rotor part here in the front here or on the other side, either one, right? So that was the idea. Maybe that would help us with the rotor wheel problem with friction. And you just got to find a way to attach these guys onto a rotor. So uh, I made an attempt to do that. And that's why I have all these parts here and trying to throw it into this kind of rover like thing here and it, it didn't really work out too well so it, it's a little difficult to place um, all this together so what we could try to do is kind of move this guy closer to me um, somehow and so we copied it and I think we can move it closer to this rover like so and it looks like I need to bring it up just a tad to get connected 
So we can probably use a piston. Um, bring this up just a tad higher. So we can say maximum distance probably would be eh, maybe 4.4. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's it. That's not enough. Okay. Maybe it's a, a full one. <laughs> Yep, that kind of works out. Okay, so I grouped up my rotor to say attach. So I'm going to move to the right a little bit. Oh, looks like I can't get to that point. It needs to be a lot closer. Um, how can I do this? All right, so that's the way to do it. So added a little bit of a thruster to it, and I added, and I was backing it up and attached the wheel there. And now everything's freaking out a bit. So the wheel's attached to the rotor, and it's still attached to the suspension. So that's gonna probably cause an issue. So I think I can see the bike suspension. So I can add friction, power, strength everything here but the moment i take it off i'm not sure if that's gonna do anything but um if i take it off i don't even know what's gonna happen to be honest so if we take it off in three two one that's what it's gonna happen i guess it is kind of moving on its own here so that's a bit weird so let's just copy that guy and see if we could just put it down here Okay, so it is freaking out and it's not working as I, as planned. So I guess that doesn't really work out as well as I thought. So I know we can control it with our gyroscopes because we have the two gyroscopes set up here. One um, on overpower, one not. And it just keeps fighting it. So what happens if I turn it off? All right, so I'll turn off the gyroscopes and oop. It is freaking out. It does not like <laughs> the bike wheel attached to a rotor here. That is ins <laughs> that's hilarious, actually. Oh, wow. Look at that. So I just pretty much created Clang using the bike mod um, wheels with the rotor part connected to another rotor. So that definitely doesn't work out. Um, yeah, I can't think of any other ways to kind of get that wheel piece from the suspension onto... <laughs> The proper um, rotor setup. I don't think it's possible without a different mod. So I'm not sure. Maybe there is something out there. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if there is a way to um, attach maybe a rotor head onto these suspension wheels. Maybe I'm just not searching around enough to um, look at it for the workshop to see if that's possible. But the bike wheels was a good attempt and it just didn't work out as planned. Alright, so that experiment was unsuccessful, but at least we made some really cool clang. <laughs> So basically with the bike mod wheel with the rotor it just causes clang as you see here so <laughs> and if I just paste a couple of these guys here they're just all gonna freak out and start moving around like this so that was very unsuccessful if I could add all four of them I wonder what would have what would have happened would it go just as crazy or maybe it would have stopped I don't know uh, it's so hard to put the wheels together so um, that's gonna be almost impossible to find out but hey we got some randomly moving parts here in our experimental playground now but yeah that was fun to give it a shot but again let me know down below if you have an idea of how to connect those wheels onto a rover all right so thank you guys very much for watching of course if you made it to the end of the video hit that thumbs up like the video if you haven't done so yet consider subscribing to the channel hit that notification bell to be alerted of upcoming videos Comments are always appreciated, so feel free to drop one down below. And of course, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.